Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Sarah Elena. I help people move to Costa Rica and today I'm going to be taking you through Samara. Well, as much of the town as I can. Right now I'm here on the beach and I'll show you some more of that in just a bit. We're going to walk a little bit through town and then I'm going to do a bit of a drive through. Just so you guys can kind of see what's around. Obviously you can't see every little part of the town in this video, but the goal is so that you can at least get an idea of what it looks like here, see what the town has. Um, this town definitely, it's its really cute. I mean, it's got, it's very laid back, um, slow pace. It's got what you would need, you know, hardware stores, banks, um, grocery stores, things like that. But then it also has a lot of really cute little restaurants, cafes, boutique hotels. Uh, I do I do see some areas that are more like more residential. Um, it's really a very cute town. It's not huge. I mean, I guess no town in Costa Rica is really that big, um, but it's, it's nice. I mean, there's definitely a lot to it. And I can see how this is a town that as you spend months here or time here, you're just gonna keep discovering more cool things. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'm just gonna take you around a little bit and you can see what Samara looks like. So this looks, this is our little, I guess, town area. Most towns in Costa Rica do have a little soccer field, fruit stand, the guy selling pipas, delicious. So this is kind of the main strip. And then it goes down to the beach. Police station. All right, let's go check out the beach. So this is the beach, it's kind of early. I mean, well, it's not too early. It's almost eight o'clock. It's a cute beach. It's kind of like that nice white, you know, white sand. I'm gonna be that weirdo that's just filming. So I'm having my coffee here at the beach. I'm gonna work a little bit too. This is a cute little restaurant I just found here on the beach. Looks, they have very typical Tico food, looks delicious. So I accidentally already dug into my food before I was gonna videotape it. So this is like a typical Costa Rican breakfast. This is Gallo Pinto. Um, it's like rice and beans, um, onion, cilantro. It's really good. To total Costa Rica thing, Gallo Pinto. So if you're here, you gotta order it. It's delicious. Big breakfast food. I like to put sour cream in mine and hot sauce. <laughs> And I got eggs, but I've already demolished those. It usually comes with tortilla. I ordered a side of bacon. So Gaia Pinto is one of the main things that Costa Ricans eat for breakfast. Not the only thing, but you know, you'll have that with eggs or that with some kind of meat or eggs and meat or everything. And of course you gotta have some coffee too. So this is a pretty typical Costa Rican breakfast. I like it. It fills me up for like basically the whole day and it makes me happy. All right, I've made a new friend, Julie here. Hi. She's She's been living in Samara for how long? About nine years. Nine years. So I don't live in Samara. So why do you live in Samara? Have you lived anywhere else in Costa Rica? What do you feel? I guess, what can you tell us about the town and why you like, what it's like um, to actually live here? Well, I was traveling around Costa Rica. Most people that come to Samara will tell you they got sucked in. There seems to be this, this vibe of it still being a rustic place. Um, one of the first things I fell in love with is there's not any... Um, United States of America hotel chains here, which I don't want to move to a place that seems to be already Americanized, which I find that in other parts of Costa Rica. This is still rustic and has a great vibe with nature. There are a lot of families here. I've been single living here alone for nine years and I, I'm safe. I feel very protected and safe. So, and um, I just love the there's a lot of younger and a lot of older, and we all tend to intermingle. There's a lot of, oh, very creative types. Mm -hmm. I think that's probably what draws a lot of us here. A lot of writers and artists and musicians. There's a great music vibe around town. And it's a magic place. Aw. It's magic. Well, thank you. And, <laughs> and then, I guess, living here, what are some of like the things that you do on a daily basis? Like, because obviously, uh -huh. I focus on people who are moving, so, you know, not vacationing. So, yeah. as someone who lives here, what are some, like, the daily things that you do? Well, we kind of thrive on doing a whole lot of nothing. Yeah. I mean, we find that as being a measure of success. 
You know, most of us here would rather go without to be able to have the freedom to do with our days as we please, which, you know, that's that vibe here. If it's good fishing, people go fishing. And everything is manana, manana, manana. You gotta learn to be real trendy. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> but, you know, it's, um, it, it's just, a, it's a slower pace of life. I, I'm a psychologist and I do biofeedback and that is something that I realize that our bodies, you know, in a fight or flight mode 70% of the day when we're living in the cities and we hate our job, any anytime we're having a negative thought, here the lifestyle is more, you know, waking up whenever you wake up and doing whatever you dream to do. There's a lot of dream builders here, but and there's a lot of interacting with nature. And I think that's what people do on a daily basis is kind of wake up and uh, most people say we do whatever the fuck we want. <laughs> I love that. Um, so would you say it's like a good place for any age, just the personality type of someone who's willing to slow yeah. down, who's not coming here to go, go, they're going to just... Yeah, I mean, you really want to reconnect. You kind of got to get back to being a little bit tribal. We don't wear shoes. <laughs> we don't wear makeup. This is a hairdo every day. <laughs> I think it's perfect. I kind of describe uh, Samra as being a little bit kind of like Dominical, but bigger. Yeah. I think it's kind of the same vibe, just down to earth, mm -hmm. relaxed. Yeah, but just like different beach and mm -hmm. different climate a little bit. Yeah, and you will find a lot of people that, you know, we kind of, I feel everyone here has a, you know, a similar vibe in that everybody wants just good energy and peace. Everybody just wants peace around here. But you also find that we kind of, to, to each his own, we don't have any, you know, we have people believe in this and believe in that. Nobody's trying to throw that on each other. We really have a great hippie love vibe going on down here. <laughs> oh, good. That is peaceful. That's yeah. perfect. Yeah. Well, thank you for your time and sorry. Thank, thank you for letting me put you on the spot. <laughs> this is really helpful. All right. Girl. Thank you. I really don't know where I'm going. I don't know if this was a good idea, guys. This doesn't seem to be anything. I don't know what I'm doing here. Why do I always do these things? I just want to know what's at the end of this road. River mouth coming out into the ocean. So all this dirt road that I've been traveling down has just been like very residential some hotels, looks like homes, little apartments. So just so you guys can get a little bit of the idea of the layout of Samara. I'm sure there's other tour videos on YouTube too that will help you get a good full perspective of what it actually looks like here. Um, yeah, so at least this part has been very residential from the main road. The main road you come in and then you hang a right and then you get down to this dirt part pretty residential. I'm gonna go see what's down here. So I found out what was at the end of this road, which is the beach. This beach is really pretty. Place is super cute. It's got an awesome vibe. So cute. Cute little boat. This place looks kind of fancy. Let's see what's going on over here. far I'm gonna walk down but it came from over there there's definitely some cute little beachfront hotels um, it's cute it's a really nice white sandy beach right now it's looking kind of like more like a bay there's a bunch of surf schools but I don't see surfing possible right now yeah it's nice here it's nice it's clean I think it's definitely worth checking out and I'm happy I'm here so I'm sitting here journaling away and I just realized that for the first time the sun's not going to set over the water. It's going to set over the land in Samara. Like, 
What's it doing over there? This is the water where everywhere that I've lived, the sun always sets over the water. But over here, the sun's over there. This is gonna be a weird sunset. Cute place. And now it's storming. So, thank you for watching the video. Um, I would say my impression of Samra was kid friendly, family friendly, it felt very safe to me. Seems like it has a lot of what you might need. So I definitely think it might be worth checking out if you're a person who likes nature, likes a laid back town, may have a family, maybe retired or maybe maybe young. I, I thought it was a place that was definitely suitable for all ages. Um, definitely gotta be okay with some bumpy roads, a little bit of dust. It can be a little bit dusty in the dry season. So just keep that in mind, especially if you're gonna live down one of those residential dirt roads. And yeah, it's a wonderful place. So thank you again so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.